Shalom YouTube. We back with another video. And I'm going to shine some light on this story that I came across. Um, about a, a, a Catholic priest arrested. He got arrested and charged with possessing more than 600 child pornography images. A, a Catholic priest. So a Catholic priest in Long Beach, California was arrested of possessing child pornography after a months long investigation according to the district attorney office in Ventura County. The 38 year old Catholic priest who goes by the name Rodolfo Martinez was recently a minister with the missionaries with the with the missionaries of the Holy Spirit religious order according to a spokesman for Los Angeles Times Martinez first came under careful and detailed examination scrutiny pretty much after several anonymous reports were made to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. So then, um, National Center for Missing and Exploited Children is a private, non-profit organization established in 1984 by the United States Congress. Um, Ventura County Child Exploitation and Human Trafficking Task Force launched an investigation in April. Ventura, Ventura County Child Exploitation and Human Trafficking, yeah. They launched that investigation in April. And they found, during the investigation, more than 600 images of child sex abuse. Let me use the word allegedly here. Child sex abuse. And prosecutors say, including videos and images of victims under the age of 12 years old. Rodolfo Martinez has been removed from ministry. His duties were assisting with mass and missionary training classes. They said he didn't work directly with children. That's what they say. I don't believe that. You know, I don't, I don't believe that. Uh, I, I, posted, um, I posted a video nine months ago and, and y'all can check that out I titled it Corrupt Priests The Catholic Code of Silence See, I'm going to turn with the truth, man Check that, check that video out and, uh, it's, it's, in, it, it's interesting and definitely an, an eye-opener Check that out I it, I did it nine months ago. The title literally, literally calls, called Corrupt Priest, The Catholic Code of Silence. Watch it. It's going to open your eyes. You're going to see. The Bible tells us, ooh, those oh, noise campaign. The Bible tells us in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1. Now the Spirit expressly says that in latter times, some would depart from the faith, giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1. Your witches, your warlocks, the occult are in these churches. Satan's agents are in these churches, yo. That man was a priest. That was literally a demon on, on up there teaching to people man you got demons li literally teaching doctrines yo in these churches literally you know what i'm saying and, and and they're in these churches they're casting spells they're doing magic they're doing curses and they're putting demons in people man you have that you have jezebel all in these churches literally that Antichrist spirit is rampant. Jezebel is rampant in these churches. In all of these churches. A lot of these churches, yo. Revelation chapter 2 verse 20. Nevertheless, I have a few things against you.
because you allow that woman Jezebel, who calls herself a prophetess, to teach and seduce my servants to commit sexual immorality and eat things sacrificed to idols. That's why, you know, pray for discernment, y'all. Literally, pray for discernment. You know what I'm saying? Discernment is a spiritual gift and one of the gifts God gives us. It's part of the whole, that's, that's one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit is discernment. And I suggest you pray to get that discernment and to keep sharpening it. You know what I'm saying? The discernment allows you to see the error in people. And, and you can see the demons in these people as well. You know what I'm saying? That's what that discernment is for. It's, it allows you to see the error in people. And you can literally see these these demons in these people. And you can see those who are not human. You see the weirdness when that veil is lifted. When your spiritual eyes are open. You see the weirdness. Your discernment catches it all. You know what I'm saying? That's why you have to look at these pastors in these churches. When they have their congregation. You know what I'm saying? These, these, these low-key witches and warlocks. Putting demons in people. You got to look at the pastor who, who's in these churches who don't catch this. You got to look at that. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's because the pastor's up there not talking about sin. Because the pastor's up there living in secret sin. And when you have discernment, ladies and gentlemen, you will see the demons and error in any one. Literally. It does not matter who goes to church. You're going to catch that demon in them. You're going to. Even the pastor up there. You're going to see these agents in these churches as well. You're, you're going to see Satan's agents, these monitoring spirits. They're in the church. You're going to catch them. You're going to see it when you have discernment. That's when you go to these churches. You got people who are literally... They're spiritually blind in these churches. If they don't catch... You know what I'm saying? If they don't see that these people are witches and warlocks and the agents are in the church, the occult is in the church, you got to look at the pastors, man, in these churches. Because these pastors literally are up there preaching false doctrines, false lies, not talking about sin. And they're over here living in their secret sin. They got demons in them. Some of them are in the occult teaching. Some of them are low-key masons. Come on, man. That's so why you got to look at these pastors and look at these people, man. If I go to these churches and see... And, and when I went to some of these churches... I myself saw these demons and these people laying hands on people. I saw a pastor literally having a demon in him and his face changed, man. They out there. Literally. And your discernment catches all of that. So it doesn't matter who goes to church. A person could go to church all every single day, not miss a service. The person can know the Bible from, from the first page to the last page. It does not matter. At the end of the day, if you are sinning without repentance, literally, you having doors open and you got and having demons in you, a person that the Most High gives discernment to and blesses this person with that gift because everybody has different gifts. The Holy Spirit has plenty of gifts, but discernment is one of them for people to catch the error in these people and can see these demons. If you have an individual who the Most High gives that discernment to, when they step into a church, it doesn't matter. You're going, it doesn't matter if you go into a church, it doesn't matter if you go outside, any room, any function, it doesn't matter. You're going to see the error in people, you're going to see the demon, you're going to see these people living in secret sin because the demons is going to get bothered and they're all going to do what they're doing. That's why this gang stalking tactics, all of this, this, that's what this is. Gang stalking, Satanism, human trafficking, all of this, this is all devil worship. It's all for, you got demons in these people, but you see what they're doing because this is, how demons talk. And those who got discernment can see this. Literally. You know what I'm saying? You have to test these spirits. You have to test these spirits. You know what I'm saying? For Satan transforms himself into an angel of light. 2 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 14. That man was literally up there. You know what I'm saying? A priest. And look at, this, look at his secret life. Secret sin. You know what I'm saying? That's why I keep saying you have to catch... That discernment is going to show you who's who, man. Literally. You know? You got these... De Satan's agents is literally everywhere, yo. Everywhere. Literally. But the Most High is exposing. He's catching all these people, man. So you got to test these spirits. All of them. All of them. 
1 John chapter 4, verse 1. Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. They are everywhere, literally everywhere. And that's why you have to sharpen your discernment, pray for discernment, because you're going to catch the error. You're going to, you're going to catch the error. The Most High is going to expose it. Especially a person who is not living the life of repentance, not, not, not having a relationship with God, confessing their sins to the Most High to be cleansed. If they are not doing that, which the Most High, He forgives everybody of their sin, which is why I keep saying repent. Even those who backslide. He will forgive their backsliding and heal them. And that's what I'm saying. Repent, repent, repent. Confess it. Nobody's perfect. We all have sin and fallen short of the glory. But you need people in these churches. You need people who have discernment. You need them in these churches to call out all of this stuff. Because you got to look at these churches and you got to look at these pastors. And you got to. And when you step into a church, you see it, man. Not only that, your discernment, your spirit is going to be bothered. You're going to see how things is. You're going to be like, yo, there's something off with this church, man. And. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna. The Most High is gonna speak with you. He's gonna speak to you. You know what I'm saying? And that's a wild story, man. And they, and he was under investigation for, you know what I'm saying? And they found six hundred more. They just saying six hundred, but they saying there was more than six hundred images, on, on, you know what I'm saying, that they found of children, and videos. I'm telling you, man, this world is one big satanic cult. Literally. But this is spiritual warfare. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. You know? Our battle's not against flesh and blood. And there's a reason why these kids is being trafficked. There's a reason why people are being trafficked. This is, I, I keep telling you, it goes deeper than that. It's literally for breeding and for sacrifices. For Satan. Literally. Okay? It gets deeper than that. This is spiritual warfare. So, I... I Pray for discernment, y'all. So y'all can catch these demons. Especially those of y'all who go to church and try to get... You know, who wants to get saved. You know what I'm saying? Have a relationship with God. Read the Bible for yourself. And have a relationship with God personally. You know what I'm saying? So he can open up the veil and your spiritual eyes. Have a relationship with him. You know, and be very, I keep telling you, be, care, be very careful on who you have. Lay hands on you. Because you don't know who's who. Next thing you know, you're asking for a prayer. And they're telling you to come to the altar. And you, the pastor's living in a secret sin. He got demons in him. And then the people who he has lined up to start praying for people who want to be free, these people got demons in them because some of them are witches and warlocks in these churches. Pray, pray. Read the Bible for yourself, y'all. Literally, read the Bible for yourself. Confess your sins. Have a relationship with the Most High yourself. And repent and repent and repent because these witches, these warlocks, Satan's agents, the occult, they are in the church too. Not only are they out here, but they're in the church too. Satan appears like an angel of light. You got 1 Kings chapter 3, verse 9. Therefore, give to your servant an understanding heart to judge your people, that I may discern between good and evil, for who is able to judge this great people of yours? Yeshua is the door. He gives you that discernment, and you will see the error in whoever has, whoever has doors open, especially those who ain't human. You're going to see it. And all these people who out here do looking foolish, doing what they're doing, brushing their hair, fixing their glasses. <laughs> all these people looking foolish, doing hand signal, all these cars. They're looking foolish out here, but that's, that's, these are demons. And that's how demons talk. This is spiritual, man. People are out here with doors open, still plugged in into this matrix, being controlled. And then you got those who worship the devil and these demons on the low low. This is how your demons talk. And when you get discernment, you see this, man. It's done in your face. Literally. But that man got caught up. And I have to shine some light on that, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeshua is the door. John chapter 10, verse 9. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. Listen. I'm gonna, 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 I'm gonna shine some light on this right here. You know what I'm saying? You got, you got the Catholic Church. All right? the Catholic Church calls the priest Father. Right? The Word of God says, "Call no man Father," in Matthew chapter twenty-three, verse nine. And Yeshua does not mean 
You know what I'm saying? Yeshua does not mean no one may refer to a parent as father. Yeshua, Jesus, is addressing the practice of referring to religious leaders and, and mentors as fathers. That's what he's saying. Call no man father. Matthew chapter 23 verse 9. That's the word of God. All right? Then the Catholic Church confessed their sins to a priest. The word of God. Yeshua. The word of God says, Yeshua is the only one faithful and just to forgive sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. That's 1 John 1 verse 9 1 John chapter 1 verse 9 the Catholic Church prays to dead saints God calls this an abomination in Deuteronomy chapter 18 verse 10 through 11 just to let y'all know we gotta call, we gotta call these Catholic churches out here too you know what I'm saying there's people literally in these churches in these Catholic churches being deceived man and let's not forget those people up there, they, they worship the, the, the devil low-key. The Pope ain't innocent. There's pictures of him leak, throwing up the peripheral hands. They're, he ain't innocent. None of them up there are innocent. None of them. And they're teaching the wrong, the wrong um, doctrines. They're teaching. They, it's wrong. The Catholic Church have made Mary a co-mediator. The Catholic Church. The Word of God says... For there is one God and one mediator between God and man. The man, Christ Jesus, Yeshua. That's what the word of God says. For there is one God and one mediator between God and man. The man, Christ Jesus, Yeshua. Literally. The Catholic Church prays to Mary. Right? The word of God says... And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. That's what the Word of God says. The Catholic Church, they, they idol worship. That breaks the second commandment in Exodus chapter 20, verse 4 through 6. You shall not make for yourself a carved image, any likeness of anything that is in heaven, above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth you shall not bow down to them nor serve them for i the lord your god am a jealous god visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children to the third and fourth generations of those who hate me but showing mercy to thousands of those who love me and keep my commandments Yeshua, Jesus, said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John chapter 14, verse 6. You will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. John chapter 8, verse 32. Sanctify them by your truth. Your word is truth. John chapter 17, verse 17. A plug from this matrix. Take that red pill. That's crazy that that priest, a Catholic priest, got caught up in some situation like that. But again, look at that video I said. The, that, that Catholic code of silence. I did that nine months ago. Watch that video. It's, it's going to be an eye opener. But you, you got to pray for discernment, man. Because the demons are in the church, man. The Bible even tells us that in later times, people are going to, you know what I'm saying? There's going to be demons. Demons. Doctrines of demons, yo. Like literally demons teaching false doctrines. Satan appears like an angel of light. That's why you're seeing what you're seeing. And it's sad that that man, something must have happened in his life that these doors opened and a demon was in this man. That was literally a demon that made this man do that. Our battle's not against flesh and blood. It's literally against spirits and demons. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. The actions of people. The things that these people do, there is a demon behind it because Satan is out to ruin your life.
to destroy your life. Which is why you got to repent from your sins and turn from your wicked ways and turn to turn to Yeshua. He's the only one who will save you and clean you from sin. But but again, that's what you see with all these kids and all this traffic and all this exploitation and everything that's happening is because these people are worshiping Molech, man. This is Satan's kingdom. This is Satan's kingdom. And you got people in these churches worshiping the devil, living in sin, and they got demons in them. And this demon is on that on the altar teaching lies and not talking about sin and not talking about certain things because if that person starts talking about sin and living and, 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 and trying to talk to people about repentance, that pastor... Is going to be getting convicted himself. And he, he, he that person does not want to talk about a certain sin. Because they low key living that way. That's how it is get. Pray for discernment. Because your discernment is going to catch these demons. You're going to catch everything that you see in man. That's why that's why you see so much stories about trafficking this. Trafficking that. Trafficking this. Trafficking that. Trafficking this. Trafficking that. Kids missing. Kids missing. Kids missing. People missing. People missing. Yeah. That's because this is a spiritual warfare. These people are worshiping the devil. This goes back all the way to Leviticus, Deuteronomy. God calls that an abomination when they were worshiping Molech and sacrificing their, their children to Molech. This is Satan's kingdom. He got cast out of heaven. These fallen angels came down with him. They are here. And that's why, they, that's why when you worship Satan, sacrifices have to be made. You have to kill animals. You have to kill people, man. This is spiritual warfare, literally. 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 And there are people who worship the devil. And then there are people who are blinded, plugged in, that have demons because the doors open. They got demons in them and the demons is controlling them. That's how deep this gets. But again, repent, repent, repent from your sin and sins and turn to the most high. Even if you backslid, even if you made a mistake, it's okay. Repent of your sin and turn to the most high. All right? And don't listen to the devil's lies when he tells you, when he tries to remind you of your past or when he tries to remind you of the sin you just did, because that's what he's going to try to do. He's going to try to raise that war in your mind and say, hey, look what you have done or look what you did. Do you think the most high is going to forgive you? He's going to play with your mind. Don't listen to these lies. Once you ask for forgiveness and repent, the most high is going to forgive you and claim you. That's what he wants in a relationship with you. He already shed his blood. He died on that tree. It's done. It's finished. You know? But that's why you see a lot of these stories with these kids missing and all this. You know what I'm saying? And if people ain't going to talk about that, and if certain stories ain't going to shine light on it, I'm going to shine light on that to let you know that this is spiritual warfare. And that's the reason why all of this is happening, man. Because you got these demons literally underground that ain't human. They're hideous. Literally, and these are the ones that can transform into a human that's walking out here in these streets, shape-shifting. These monitoring spirits, these, some of these animals ain't animals, some of these humans ain't humans. I'm telling you, man, you see it. That's how deep this gets, man. I'm plugged from this matrix. I'm plugged from this matrix. But I have to break it down to you, letting you know that that Catholic way is the wrong way. I'm, so, I'm sorry to tell you. It's the wrong way. You just, you just heard it from God, from, 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 from what God was saying. Literally. You know what I'm saying? And, ladies and gentlemen, read the Bible for yourself. Have a relationship with God. Do it yourself. You know what I'm saying? And then He will reveal things to you. He will open your spiritual eyes and you will begin to see things. But do it yourself because there's so much false things going on out here. And you got to pray for discernment. Your discernment is going to, you're going to catch it all. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, pray for discernment. There's a lot of you right now who's probably still plugged in, curious, and you don't even realize that you got a special bloodline. You're being gang stalked because of it because you don't even know. And that the Most High gifted you with a special gift from the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit has gifts. And you don't even know that there's a special gift in you and you don't know because Satan got you like this. You still plugged in. And you out here don't even know that you got a special bloodline. You royalty out here. You are a king and a queen. And you walk in here blinded because you are distracted. That's what Satan wants. People distracted to not know the truth. And you out here with a with a special bloodline. Got 
the, your DNA special. You got Yahweh in you. You got the Most High in you. You know what I'm saying? And you got a certain special gift that the Holy Spirit has prepared and planned for you. And you got a special spiritual journey, spiritual walk with the Most High. And He wants to use you in such a special way, but you're blinded. But I know there's a lot of you who still plugged in that are curious. So I'm saying, get into the book. Start praying. Have a relationship with the Most High. You know what I'm saying? Ask and repent. You know? And you'll see for yourself. You know, it's serious out here. Spiritual warfare is serious. But I'm going to shine light on topics like this. Because, they, you know what I'm saying? Not many will do it. And we already know how the media is. They, 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 they're they not going to do it. They're not. So I'm, I'm going to shine light on certain topics that ain't nobody going to be talking about. They're not. They're not. And you know what's interesting that I noticed? A lot of, a lot of churches... A lot of churches and even certain um, YouTubers, the YouTubers that they do, uh, they record their services in the, in their churches. Not one of them talk about gang stalking. Not one of them talk about monitoring spirits, the tactics of what they do. Not one of them talk about trafficking. Not one of them talk about how these missing people and missing children. They're not talking about how deep this gets and how the rabbit hole goes down about that this is mainly for Satan, Satan worship, this and that. Like they, a lot of these churches, a lot of these pastors, they're not talking about that. They're not. They're not. They're not. But that's okay. I pray that they do. You know what I'm saying? Because you got people listening to them and, and going to these churches and following them, but they need to talk about that. Because that's that's what's happening in this world. But I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to shine light on that. Because I know what's up. I know that there's is more is the rabbit hole just keeps going down and I know that there's it is it is it, it's, it's for sacrifices for Satan. Literally. And they ain't talking about gang stalking, they ain't talking about none of that, but that's all right. I'ma do it. I'ma do it. And all and all praises to the most high. This is for his glory, this is for his works. It's all for him. Same for me, this is for him. But I I'ma shine light on these topics. But this is for the Most High's glory. This is all for Him. It's all for Him. Literally. It's all for Him. And shout out to those brothers and sisters who are also shining light on these topics too. Shine light on it. For real. Shout out to y'all too. You know? Unplug from this matrix, man. It's serious out here. Spiritual warfare is real. It's real. Stay prayed up. You know? And you saw... That man... Oh, they, the, the agents are everywhere. Satan's agents are everywhere, man. Get your discernment. When you get your discernment... You're going to be surprised. You're going to see the error everywhere. You're going to see these demons everywhere. Man, when... It's like once you awaken... And once you take that red pill... And once you unplug... It's... It's hard... <laughs> To like really go back to that old way. I don't. Don't. Fight it. Go forward. Don't look back. Don't do what Lot's wife did. Don't do what Lot's wife did. That's what the Bible says. Remember Lot, Lot, Lot's wife. Remember her. Because they told her not to look back. When he was destroying Sodom and Gomorrah. And what did she do? She looked back. Instead of just keep going forward. She looked back and what happened to her? She turned into a pillar of salt. That's why the Bible says, remember Lot's wife. Remember her. And it's like once you get this awakening and once you see how fake this world is and how it's orchestrated, it's it's fake. It's not real. Once you unplug and you awaken, man, you man, you just, just keep going forward on your journey. Pray to the Most High. And the Most High is going to direct you on the path that He has for you. For his glory. And he's going to use you. For wh whatever purpose he has in your life. He's going to use you. He's going to use you. You know. You don't look at nothing the same once you awaken man. I'm telling you. You don't look at nothing the same anymore. And then you're going to see how everybody's just attracted to you. Because you know what I'm saying. You got that light. Yeshua is the light of the world. 
you also have that light in you as well. Christ dwells in you because your temple is Christ dwells in your temple. This this is this is the most high. Your temple is from the, from the most high. He created it. He created you. All of you. You know? Spiritual warfare is real. Stay prayed up. Stay safe. Until the next video.